Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out and reviewing the Laura Mercier, what is this called? The Secret Camouflage Concealer Duo Stick. It retails for 32 US dollars and you can find it in 16 different shades. I chose the shade 3W for today. That is which one? Let's see, this one is meant to brighten. This side here looks like this. And this side is meant to correct, which looks like that. So we are going to be correcting and brightening with this concealer stick today. So let's go over some of the quick details for this concealer. It is meant to be a full coverage concealer with a matte finish in cream form. Um, it is also going to help blur out imperfections and smooth out our skin texture. And it is meant to brighten the under eye area over time because it does include pearls and plant extracts the formula does. Um, it also has plant-derived squalane that is going to soften skin and boost hydration for comfortable all-day wear. So it has some really nice ingredients infused into it so that it's going to help us over time and it's going to help the way that it wears throughout the day. Let's get started. I am excited about this. One quick thing I didn't mention, it has a shelf life of 18 months, which is pretty, pretty long. All right, so let's start off by correcting the dark circles, shall we? Just gonna start off with a little bit and then build up from there. Now, as far as how to use this, you start off with the correcting side. You apply it directly on to the spots that you feel need to be corrected, such as blemishes, dark spots, and other imperfections for me being dark circles, and then you can pat this in gently with your fingertips. Then you go in with the concealer in order to brighten. You're supposed to gently glide this on from inner corner to the outer corner, and then pat it in with your fingertips to blend. So we're using a lot of fingertips. All right, so just applying the corrector like that, and then patting it in with your fingertips. Depending on the product, sometimes, um, I don't like to use my fingers, especially for the under eye area, because depending on the product, it will look like little stamp marks, like I'll create stamp marks with my finger, but this one's blending out really well. All right, so correcting is done. Let me apply foundation really quickly and I will be right back. All right, foundation is done. Let's move on with the brightening side of this. We're using this and we're gonna use it in the same way that we correct it in, which is just directly applying it from inner corner outward. I'm not gonna use too much of this because honestly, I don't feel like you need too much of this. Look at how pigmented that is. Pretty good. All right, so I'm just gonna take my ring finger and blend this out. You know, I feel like I I lose a little bit of coverage when I blend it out with my finger because it looks really, really highly pigmented and very concealed before I start blending it out with my finger. But as I'm blending it out with my finger, I'm finding that the coverage is like lessening more and more. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to blend it out using my Real Techniques um, Deluxe Crease Brush. I'm gonna take a little bit more of the brightening doesn't say anything about being able to like layer this on, but I'm assuming you can because if you correct and then you apply the brightening um, side, you're layering like that. So I'm assuming it's okay. I'm just gonna apply a little tiny bit right here, just along the darker parts underneath my eyes. And right here, it's very light. All right, so now I'm gonna try to blend it out with this deluxe crease brush so that I'm not removing the product as I'm blending. Oh yeah, I like the way that it blends out with this brush a lot better. All right, so the under eye area is blended out. 
However, I can I can already see some issues with this concealer. Since it has a matte finish, or it's supposed to have a matte finish, but since it is a cream formula, I'm pretty sure it's going to settle into my fine lines. Um, I'm gonna leave it alone for now. I'm gonna zoom you guys in so that you get a better look. I plan on leaving it alone for now. Um, as I'm finishing my makeup, if I see that it does start to settle, then I might, I might set it. Um, but if not, then hopefully, It'll stay that way and it'll look great all day, but we'll see. Let me zoom you guys in first so that you can see what's going on underneath the eye area as of right now after initially applying this concealer. All right, so here's the under eye area. I don't know if I'd call this uh, full coverage because once you blend it out, you just automatically start losing a little bit of coverage, but you can't go without blending it out. Otherwise it just doesn't look right since it is a cream formula, you know what I mean? Hopefully that makes sense. However, it looks good. It looks good right now. We'll see if it settles though. That, that I am curious about. All right, so now that you've gotten a closer look underneath the eyes, let me work on the rest of my makeup and I will be right back. All right, so I'm back before finishing my makeup because take a look. All right, so this is the current situation after having it on for like, what, two minutes, three minutes? not that long at all as you can see it's already like separating moving around so i'm going to be blending it again and i am absolutely going to set this in place all right so now that you've seen what's happening underneath the eyes as of right now i'm going to blend it out but i'm going to do it with my brush this time just so that i don't remove a ton of the product Okay, and then I'm gonna take my Pat McGrath Labs Under Eye Blurring Powder. This one's in the shade Medium. I'm gonna grab a little bit of this with my Soft Blend Brush. This is the number 50 from Sigma Beauty. And this is what I'm gonna to use to set the under eye area. All right, so there's the under eye area. Not full coverage anymore, but like, if you apply enough to make this full coverage, it seems to just move around on you um, because it is like a really creamy consistency. And if you don't apply enough, then you don't get full coverage, but at least it looks, it looks good. It looks wearable, it looks decent as of right now. I'm glad that I set it. I'm glad that I blended it out again and that I set it looks much better right now. Let me continue on with my makeup and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back, ready to continue on with my day. Setting it was definitely key because now it looks it looks pretty good underneath the eyes. It doesn't seem like it's gonna move around. Even though I did set it, this doesn't look dry, like excessively dry by any means. It's providing quite a bit of coverage. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how it wears, right? It is currently 10.53 in the morning. I do plan on wearing this all day long. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a midday check-in from my car so that you can see the under eye area under natural lighting. So I will see you guys in a few hours for my midday check-in. All right, so I just got back home. I completely forgot to film because I was on the phone with my sister the entire time I was out. So. Anyway, you're still getting a natural lighting check-in. Um, what time is it? Let me see. It is four? Is it four o'clock? 4.02. Um, so I've had this on for what? Like five hours? Did we start at 11? I just, I don't know. I think we started around 11. So I think I've had this on now for five hours. This is what it looks like at the moment. A bit dry, right? So I think that setting it is definitely what's helping the concealer stay in place. However, yeah, it looks it looks a little dry. So anyway, I will continue to wear this for another like three hours or so, like three, three and a half. And then yeah, I'll, I'll check back at the end of the night to show you what I am left with after wearing this all day long. All right, so I'm back for my final check-in. It is currently 6.10, which means that I've worn this for seven hours, I believe. I was gonna push it to seven o'clock, but I have, I have quite a big headache going on right now. And so I decided, you know what, an hour is really not gonna make much of a difference. So here I am for my final check-in. And now, before I get into what I think about this concealer after wearing it for an entire day, I am going to zoom you guys in one last time so that you can get a better look underneath the eyes after a full day of wear. 
All right, so here is the under eye area. As you can see, it looks a little dry. It looks a little dry to me, um, but other than that, it stayed in place for the most part. It's still concealing quite nicely. Um, so yeah, not, not bad. So there it is. That is what the under eye area looks like after wearing this for an entire day. Looks a little dry. However, the concealer stayed in place and it is concealing quite nicely even after the entire day, after seven hours concealing quite nicely, it just looks a little dry. So would I recommend this for anyone looking to completely conceal the under eye area? I mean, sure, but just expect to have to set it. Um, and if you set it, it might end up looking kind of dry like it did on me just because it is a matte formula. Now, if you're someone who just wants to brighten up the under eye area just a little bit, or if you need just, you know, the occasional full coverage on like a blemish or a dark spot or anything like that, then sure, this one would be great. Um, but it is quite pricey, especially for the amount that you get. You get 0 0.03 ounces worth of product on each end. So 0 0.06 altogether. And it is a $32 concealer. Also, the shade range is not that great. It's not that wide. Um, so there are a few pros, but a few cons. It, it's going to depend on what you're looking for in a concealer. If you're looking for a full coverage on the occasional small spots, um, sure. If you're looking for full coverage underneath the eyes and you don't want it to be dry, then probably not. So those are my thoughts on this new Laura Mercier concealer. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this product review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss out on future videos. And also don't forget to follow me over on Instagram where I absolutely love to interact with you guys. As always, take care and I will see you all in my next video. Mwah. Bye.